So this is a TTC update. Oh my gosh, I haven't done one of these in forever because, you know, James has been gone, so it's hard to TTC when he's gone. So now that he's home, we are TTCing again. So let's see, it was on 4DPO today. I was tracking ovulation this month with OPKs, and I know that people are like, ah, oh, OPKs aren't 100%, you can't trust them. Yeah, but I do them along with my normal ovulation symptoms. So once I start having some of those symptoms, I start taking OPKs and it's never been wrong when I use those two things together, if that makes sense. So um, it says that I ovulated on Tuesday, the 8th, I guess it was, uh, whatever election day was. <laughs> but it was kind of unfortunate because James was actually out of town on the 8th and only the 8th, but he was there the night before and the next night. So we didn't actually get to, to BD on ovulation day, but we did the night before and the next night. So I was trying to do, or we were trying to do the sperm meets egg plan this month. I feel like we've probably done it other months. I don't really remember. Um, and we did it all perfectly except for the day of ovulation, which is kind of a big deal, but at least we hit one of the peak fertile days. I'm not going to stress about it. Like... It is what it is and I couldn't change it, so, so yeah. But um, as far as like ovulation kind of symptoms and stuff leading up to it, it's pretty much the same for me every month. About a week before ovulation, I start smelling everything. Everything just smells funny. I don't know why my senses go berserk about a week before. And then um, I can always tell which side I'm ovulating from because I have pain. And actually, it's kind of weird this month. Um, I, I had ovulation pain on both sides for a couple days, and then it was only on my right side. And then um, since I've ovulated, I've maintained that pain, which the only other time I remember that happening is when I was pregnant with Jonathan, when I got pregnant with Jonathan. Not that that really means much, my memory is crap, so <laughs> it might have happened other months too, and I just don't remember. But um, it's a little weird that it's still kind of painful. Not as painful, but still uncomfortable. So I don't know, maybe that's a good sign, maybe not. But obviously it's really early for any kind of signs so far, which I have zero because I'm 4 DPO and there's nothing going on. And plus we've been so insanely busy that I don't even know if I would be paying attention. Jonathan's upset, you wanna see him? Say hey buddy. Say hey. <laughs> So, yeah, um, but I, I still have high hopes for this month, even though we really didn't hit ovulation dead on like we were trying to, but it is what it is. And so, you know, obviously sperm live a couple days, so it's still very, very possible. Um, can come over here? Come here. So it's still really possible, but, you know, it would have been nice to hit all of the days we wanted to, but... It's, not so worried about it. But yeah, I mean, we've just been working on things here, so I'm going to stay really busy during the two-week wait. We're still trying to fix our house from the hurricane <laughs> and just do some other things. And James just signed out on um, leave, which is vacation, if you guys aren't <laughs> familiar with the military. And uh, so we're going to be doing, uh, 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 uh. we're going to be doing house projects and all sorts of things. So I'm hoping this two-week wait will fly by. It already has been. I mean, I can't believe I'm already 4 DPO. Um, and I really, 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 really want to hold off testing until 12 DPO. I set an alarm on my phone to go off and I'm, I'm going to try so hard not to test until then, but I'm a compulsive tester, so that's probably not going to work. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. There's nothing that exciting going on yet. I'll try to do another update further in my DPO days of like how I'm feeling and symptoms or, you know, whatever. Um, and stuff like that, but sorry about the videos being sporadic. We've just been working in the house. We've had company nonstop. It's been crazy, but oh my gosh, what are you doing? But I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. So I wanted to at least get this up to you and let you guys know that we are TTCing again, and I did ovulate, and we're in our two-week wait. So it's exciting. Hopefully, exciting things are happening. Um, if nothing else, it's just really exciting to have the opportunity to try again because, you know. It was hard really wanting a baby and not having anything you could do about it while he was gone. So hopefully some good things are coming.
coming our way soon. And for everybody else, I'm thinking about you and I'm praying for you and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.